that um, one of my greatest mentors uh, in my career um, was a guy named John McCullough, who invented the McCullough Retractor. He was a phenomenal microsurgeon. After I finished my two uh, my year with um, Henry Bowman, I went and spent two weeks with John McCullough learning how to do microsurgery. He took me under his wings, and about uh, three or four years later, uh, he really helped me in my career. He uh, had put me on some courses and uh, had me teach uh, things. And one year he couldn't make uh, the AAOS meeting where he was supposed to teach microsurgery and microlumbar discectomy. So he had me do the demonstration. I was about three years out of my fellowship and I was uh, doing a demo in front of most surgeons who were 20 years out in practice. Uh, and um, it was a, a funny demonstration where I put some methylene blue and it just spread all over the place, but we got it done. But thanks to him, he really helped to jumpstart my practice after, and he didn't have to do that because uh, I only spent two weeks with him. Later on, he invited me to the Colorado and the Denver Spine Society, and um, I gave a lecture. We all went out skiing, and unfortunately, he had a terrible accident, and he passed away. But one of the things he told me before he left was uh, that I consider you one of my mentees, and uh, he said that uh, if in five years you have not surpassed me as a surgeon, as an academician, then I have failed you as a mentor. And I took those words to heart. I still haven't surpassed them, uh, but I can tell you this, almost every one of the fellows that I have trained has way surpassed me in most ways. Hanjo is a great example of somebody who's bypassed me and left me in the dust. You know, we're like in a relay race and we run and then somebody comes ahead of us, younger and stronger, we pass the baton.